This is the 2008-2009 New Mexico Men's Basketball Preview Show. everyone and welcome inside the Mountain Studios for the 2008 New Mexico Men's Basketball Preview Show. Joining me tonight to talk Lobo Hoops, our Mountain Analyst, the coach Marty Fletcher and Denver Nuggets Assistant Coach Larry Mangino. And guys, this year the Lobos will have some huge shoes to fill with the loss of star guard J.R. Giddens. Here's what Lobo Coach Steve Alford had to say about last year's co-conference player of the year. Well, he did everything for us. He's leading scorer, leading rebounder, guard the best player on the other team second in assist, uh, first in steals. He just did everything. And the thing I think we're going to miss is his passion, uh, his ability to make plays when things broke down, and then just how passionate he was about playing. That was what was a lot of fun coaching JR. Gentleman Giddens is now a member of the world champion Boston Celtics, but where do you start filling these holes? He was your offense. He was your defense. He was your emotional leader. I mean, very hard to replace. Well, no question about it, but Coach Alford didn't go there to build a team. He went there to build a program, and that's what he's doing. But while he was building the program, he wanted to win some games. So the J.R. Giddens uh, just he, he did everything as he talked about. Offense, defense, steals, reboundings. And at the end of the year, this guy was one of the premier players, not only in the conference, but in the country. Just had a great, great uh, senior campaign. Uh, J.R. Giddens, you're not going to replace J.R. Giddens, but... What you're going to do is other guys will step up. They have a lot of returning players, solid program builders, and that's what they'll do. Now, players like Giddens don't come around that often. What will you miss about watching him play? Because you were a little critical of him earlier in this season. Oh, absolutely. Last year, I was critical because I didn't know that he was going to commit to a team environment. Obviously, he did that. His talent stepped up big time. I actually, Marius, apologized to him at one of the games I did on the road, I think, at Colorado State. You haven't apologized to me yet. Well, you don't deserve it. <laughs> you tell the top 25. But here's what we have. An extremely talented athletic guy, plays with passion, and then in his, at his last chance to have, have success in college, he bought in. He, he had transferred there, so you knew that there were some problems prior, but he came in, bought into Coach Alford's system. His team thrived because of it. I think they only had one or two bumps in the road during the course of the season, but special player, and I'm proud of him, and I know he's going to have a great career. Now, Giddens is the only starter not returning this year, but the Lobos lost five guys on the roster. They do return six players to a team that won 24 games last season and went to the NIT. Rebuilding, maybe? Well, no, no, yeah, well, that's part of the process. You, you mentioned four returning starters, but also we have to add in Tony D, because he was a starter the year before. I'm talking about Tony Dandridge, who is a terrific athlete, who has worked hard on his game. He's back 100%. That's going to be a big fill for, for. Now, will he take J.R. Giddens and fill his shoes? No, he's not that type of player, but he's a very good player, very athletic. He can go inside, outside. He's worked hard on his outside game. Uh, this, is, this is a program that had a terrific year last year, but they're just in the building process as far as becoming a national uh, power. Well, I think one of the great mistakes so far I've seen with the media, no, all apologies uh, directed at you here, not my buddy here, <laughs> but uh, New Mexico picked sec uh, fifth in the league. They should have been second. I think they have returning players. Coach mentioned Tony Danridge coming back. They, their their uh, coaching staff did a great job recruiting talented players that I'm sure we're going to talk about. But I think this is a special team. I expect them to be in the top 25. And Vegas better watch out because this is a very talented team. And obviously Albuquerque is a tough place to play. I expect them to have a super year and challenge for the regular season conference title. Well, let's talk about the coach. Steve Alford had a great first year, and he put some excitement back into the Lobo basketball program. The team had nine more wins than the previous season, and the fans have started to return to the pit. And the pit has become a special place for Coach Alford. I had no idea the level of blessing it was to, to coach a game in the pit. Uh, <laughs> that place is, it truly is unbelievable. There's, there's no place like it. Now, I've, I've been very fortunate. I played at Assembly Hall in Indiana. It has an awful lot of a tradition with five national title banners hanging, and they, they always wave. It seems like there's always a wind inside Assembly Hall, and uh, the arena I played in, in in high school seated 10,000. It's the largest high school gym in the world. Uh, but boy, there's something special about the pit. Walking down that ramp and the energy that's in that building, uh, that was a lot of fun. And we've got it going at a high level. Hopefully we can keep it going. 
You know, he talked about tradition and things like that. How does having a coach like Steve Alford help a program? I mean, his name alone has to be worth a couple of recruits, Coach. Well, he's, he's one of the premier coaches in college basketball. Make no mistake about it. And he chose not only to go to New Mexico, but to stay at New Mexico. And that's a big hit for the Lobos. They're, th this is a, a program that, uh, as Larry mentioned, can be a top 25 program year in and year out. They have a great home court advantage. When you go into somebody's home and and talk about playing in the, the great assembly hall as, as an Indiana Hoosier, also going to NBA arenas, but he thinks the pit is even more special. That's that's huge, and that's why they've had such a great recruiting class. They've got six newcomers. Uh, they're expecting big things, but it's not going to be all on the shoulders of the newcomers because they have some terrific players coming back. Absolutely. You know, Coach Alford's done a great job, and I agree 100%. They have stability with the program now. He's made a commitment to the University of New Mexico. They have uh, talented players that are returning. They have good young players coming in. They've made renovations to the pit and will continue to do so. There's a lot of excitement about New Mexico basketball right now, and I really believe they're going to be, w without question, in the top 25 this year. I'm going to ask this question. I think I already know the answer, but I'm, I'm interested to hear you guys take. Would you agree that this year Steve Alford would have to coach more this year than he did last year in Albuquerque? Well, I, I don't think necessarily that is true. Uh, he had to do a lot of work to get J.R. Get Giddens back <laughs> and, and into the fold because, quite frankly, when you win 24 games, and, and you've got to give a lot of credit for Coach Alford and his staff, what they did with J.R. Giddens in order to put him on the platform to be able to do what he did, that takes a lot of work behind the scenes. That takes a lot of counseling. Uh, but, hey, this guy has won everywhere he's been. He won a little quicker at New Mexico than he actually did at the other stops uh, – that he made in his coaching career. Uh, this, this, this is a program that uh, they're always going to coach. Coach Alford, is, he loves the defense. Uh, he loves the motion game. He's got really good players. They're even going to get better. I really believe that if you look at it, uh, he, they had a great year last year, and a lot of people think maybe J.R. Gittins and all that, you lose that, so you're going to lose quite a bit. So your comment, maybe from the outside looking in, you'd say, you know, that he's going to have to coach better, they're going to have to overachieve. But there, we've talked a lot about it already. There's some good returning players, there's some good new players in there. Uh, coach is coach. They're going to go after it. They may have to adjust a little bit year to year, but I guarantee you, they did their work in the summer getting all these players. His staff did a great job. I think Craig Neal is one of his assistants, does a super job. So they got some players in there they're going to be great well let's talk about the preseason polls and the Lobos are not getting any love after finishing tied for third last season they are picked to finish fifth coach Mangino this surprises you oh I was I was shocked I was really surprised and um, I'm disappointed but I, I know for a fact that that this probably already is in the locker room you know we always talk about the little gimmicks and so forth this is already in the locker room of the New Mexico Lobos uh, they're looking at that every day and and they know they have something to prove they had something to prove last year they probably would have anticipated you know uh, looking at a little bit higher but in some ways from a coaching standpoint pick us fifth because we're gonna finish higher and the Lobos were shut out of the preseason after